Hello everybody, today I just wanted to quickly talk about the Unreconciled Stars event as well as uh, the event shop. I want to focus this video on the event shop, What I, what I, just uh, my quick reaction, looking at uh, what's available and what I think you should really prioritize buying while going into it. Alright, so let's just go straight into it. There are two separate forms of currency that you're going to be able to spend. Um, the meteorite fragments uh, are the ones that we're going to be able to, are the Fading Star's Might uh, is going to be what we're able to get uh, now. I do believe that the Fading Star Essence will come later as more of this event is opened up to us. Alright, going right into the Fading Star's Might. What you should be focusing in here, I think you should skip all the uh, fragments unless you really need them, but I don't think anyone should. Uh, since they are easy to farm just by going through the world bosses. If you have any trouble going through that, let me know. Let someone else in the community know. I'm sure you could find friends or just people to team up with to take down any of these world bosses pretty easily. Next we have uh, Adventures Experience in Hero's Wit. Um, I think Hero's Wit is probably the most valuable thing that they offer in the shop currently. We do not know if they plan on adding anything to the shop later on, so you may want to hold off on spending this until uh, towards the end of the event, as the shop will be open a couple days after the event has already ended. So you may want to uh, hold off until then, unless you absolutely need something, and then um, determine what you want to buy from there. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, from here, uh, just looking at what they have right now, Hero's Wit right here is probably the biggest thing that I think as the best value for anyone's account. You're able to buy 150 copies of this, um, which is saving you uh, hundreds if not thousands of, which will really save you hundreds of not thousands of resins, uh, of resin uh, that you could have used to farm on the, uh, on the Adventure Rank Experience Ley Line, or not Adventure Rank, on the Hero Experience Ley Line. Um, I'm going to do a quick calculation just to see how much that would be for me at this uh, time. So if I go to my map and I look at this, I get four, uh, four to five a run. Um, assuming the best run possible, let's say I got five every run. It would still take me 30 runs to get 150. That's the amount that the shop's offering. It would take me 30 runs to get 150 um, of the hero's wit. Let's time that by 20. That's 600 resin. That's multiple days of resin. Um, at a full resin recharge of 160 takes around 21 hours. So you're looking at multiple days of resin usage just to focus on getting hero experience if you want to get that 150 wit. And I'm already at I'm already at AR, I mean world level six. Some people are at lower, some are at higher. I hear that world level seven doesn't actually increase your ley line drop, so. So it will be the same for anybody above me. So anyone below me, that means it'll take even longer to get that many uh, Hero's Wits. So I really think that the Hero Wit is by far the best thing to uh, to buy in this shop currently. Right next to that, I do think the Mora is. Again, I would, I'm would i obviously looking at these two, I would go completely for the Limited Mora. And if I already blew through this, maybe I'll consider uh, the non-Limited Mora. Uh, my current plan, just looking at this, again, I'm going to hold a lot of my currency until the end of the event, just in case they add even more stuff to the shop. But my current plan for this is to buy out the Hero's Wit completely. That will be my main focus. After that, I'll focus on the Mora. Um, and at the end, I think I'll... Uh, at the end, I'm... It's a toss-up for me. Right now, I'm considering either just going harder on Mora and just stick, sticking with that, or buying this 150 adventure the experience as those are still that's still a lot of energy just to get that much and all the hero experience possible can really help my account i have a lot of characters i want to build up especially to be making guides for them and currently i just don't have the experience to do it additionally i do want to uh, pull for zhang li i want to be able to put him at level 80 as soon as i get him and having these extra experience books are going to really push me over the edge and allow me to do that Next, we have the Fading Star Essence. Uh, this uh, is the first place where it's much, to me, it's much more based on what you need and less on what's best. 
But that being said, the first thing that I would focus absolutely is this crown. Uh, so it's gonna be. It's the only thing I you 100% need from this shop. If they don't add anything else to the shop, this is all you need. This is the one thing you want to make sure that before this ends, you pick up this crown, as this is only given during limited duration events. And you do need these to level up any talent above level 10, or I believe even to level 10 as well. Uh, I, I would have to get confirmation, but you need this for any level 10 or higher talent level up, and you can't get it from anything else besides events. So if you are looking at what you need to prioritize, this is it. This is the one thing you need to get. Uh, the next thing I would get after that, um, I would focus, since you only could get a certain amount of copies of each of these, or actually, you may, you, since you only, it looks like you only could get one of each of these, I would just uh, buy out the ones that I need the most. Um, like for me, uh, my Deluke is already pretty good, so I don't need to buy Resistance. Uh, however, I, since I want Zhongli, I haven't been doing my farming for him, so I'll look at what Zhongli really needs to upgrade his talents, and I'll buy those out. And then finally, I would probably uh, get as much ore as I can as well. But yeah, again, the biggest and most important thing to buy is this crown. Focus to save up all your materials possible, uh, and just try buying this out uh, before the end of this event, as it's going to be so important to get. But yeah, as I mentioned, this shop isn't even open yet. This opens in 6 days and 17 hours. So probably at that time, the next part of the event will open. And it'll give us access to the next stage of the event, which will provide the next currency. Um, but we do have to just wait and see how that's going to look. Alright, but that's pretty much it. I, um... That's my look of the event shop, what you should be focusing on buying, what you should focus on. Uh, yeah, no, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that has been my review of the event shop, what I believe you should focus on buying, what I'm going to focus on buying, and what I think is probably an easy skip. Again, these fragments, I think I could easily farm these up, so unless, unless I'm just rolling in this currency, I'm going to skip all these fragments. And just go for the bottom four things. Again, I'm going to hold it just in case they add more to this shop later. Um, and then for the Fading Star, really it's just that crown. And then everything else is based on your need. Alright, I hope this helped someone else out based on what, they've, uh, what they're considering. And if it did, please leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.